of the house. Little A didn't want me to go, and the phone was ringing. Hey, babe, Paige, if you want to go home, it's okay. Why would I want to do that? Well, this is where Richie grabbed you. Yeah, I know, but I'll get over it. You know what? I'm lying, okay? It still creeps me out. He really wanted me, and, and now he's dead. Yeah, and we have no idea who killed him. <sighs> the police are talking to Zach. Don't tell me you think Zach did it. What's the problem, Junior? You want some coffee? No, no thanks. Babe said the cops have been questioning you about Richie Novak's murder. And I've been given an answer. You came through for me with an alibi. When I kidnapped Richie, I just assumed that I'd stop by to see if you needed some backup. That's nice. Now, why are you really here? No, Kendall, I don't think that Zach killed Richie. You know what? I mean, if he did, I'd buy him a drink. Maybe several. In fact, I'd probably have a few myself while I was at it. Well... I remember how hard it was for me to come back after... You know what? Kendall, you don't have to say it. After J.R. almost killed you when he meant to kill me. I shouldn't have brought it up. I hated J.R. back then, too. But we have come a long way since then. <laughs> Didn't you move back in with him? Well, sort of. I moved back into the mansion, but we're staying in separate bedrooms. So, so you're taking it slow. We are trying to get things right again. You know, jr has been nothing but respectful and understanding, and I almost want to say mature. <laughs> mature? Wow. No. <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Those just are not words I would put in the same sentence with JR, that's for sure. Yeah, it's true. You know, I think he finally understands that he just needs to be patient. You know? We're, we're making it work again. We're, we're trying to make our way back to each other. But it's just just gonna take time. You know, I've been more involved with Chandler ever since my father... You got dragged to the nut house. I do read the papers. What do you want? The point is, we have a lot in common. You and I are both businessmen, family men. We both understand the importance of planning for our future. <sighs> you came here to talk shop? To compare notes. Trade ideas. On how to take down your dad. So much for family. Sounds like you and JR are back on track. You know, for so long, Richie's mind games had me all turned around. Yeah, that psycho actually thought he had a shot with you. Well, for a while, it's not like I actually discouraged him. So, he pretended to be a different person. You know, even after he admitted to me that he was Annie's brother, he had me convinced that he was the victim. You know, he was this nice guy that was just misunderstood, but deep down, he was just evil. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Annie. How, how are you doing? She's late. We were supposed to go over the marketing package about an hour ago. All right, Kendall. No, she's right. She's right. I'll get it. Oh, it's my mom. She's actually a free woman today. I wouldn't take this in the lounge. Hey, Mom. Welcome back. Hey, I'm ready to work on any of that marketing stuff whenever you are. Well, I was ready hours ago. Now I'm busy. Okay. Is there anything else that you're going to jump on? Why don't you surprise me? You're good at that. Cool. I will be in the lounge. Don't you think you're being a little harsh? You know, she's been under a lot of stress lately. Babe, this is way more than stress, okay? Annie broke into Greenlee's apartment and she physically attacked her at the hospital. What? Is Greenlee okay? Yeah, she's fine. And thank God Annie was still woozy from fainting after she pounced. Pounced? Right, listen, just... Okay. Annie just grabbed... Greenly, and she started ranting and raving how Ryan was hers and to stay away from him. Yeah, honestly, I think we should fire Annie. You're kidding me. Kendall, how well would you handle it if your husband forgot you, you found out your brother was just killed, and in surprise, you're, you're pregnant? I know I should be more understanding, but I'm sorry, I can't be. 
I will never understand how Annie could just roll over on Zack the way she did. You own Chandler's shares. Lots of them. Your daddy doesn't know that, does he? There's a lot that my father doesn't know. Look, Slater, we've had our differences. Differences? Yeah, well, we've worked together to bring down Novak. We played for the same team. We could again. You can't beat your dad. You don't have it in you. You're wrong. Not usually. No? Try me. Kendall, Annie's our friend. Baby didn't see her at the hospital. She was... She was weird. She was, like, really over-the-top happy and cheery. And she kept going on and on about how she was so in love with Ryan. It was really weird. Well, yeah. Ryan fixed it to where he couldn't make a baby, and he made a baby. That would throw me for a loop, too, and, and not to mention his memory's back now. Yes, I know, and that's great. But, but his surgery suddenly reversed itself now? I mean, right now, when, when, when things with Greenlee are... Greenlee? I, I thought she was getting back with Aiden. She is. She is. I just, I think the timing is strange, that's all. Miracles do happen. Yeah, well, this one's a little too convenient for me. So, I have to go pick up Emma. We'll see you tomorrow? Absolutely. And I will be on time. I promise. I've heard the song before. When you get away from Adam, the next thing you know, you get sucked back in. Not this time. I have a plan. You have a plan? Junior has a plan. That's great. Just like what? Like your uh, fake kidnapping and your internet beauty supply? Yeah, those were thing. mistakes. Mistakes, right. You know why? Because you don't think things through. Competitors, they know that, and they crush you. I ran Chandler when my father couldn't. Have you seen our numbers lately? Yeah, you had a few good weeks, but it's over now. Success takes qualities that you don't have. You don't know what I have. It's not enough to want it. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes. I am. For the first time in my life, I know who I am. I'm not afraid of my father. I'm not afraid of anyone. And I'm going to do whatever it takes until I win. Well, you keep talking like that, and I might hire you. You're kidding. Yeah, I am. But you'll talk to me about the future. Hmm. I don't like your dad. Now, I don't really know how I feel about you half the time. But with your dad, at least I know what I'm dealing with. You, you lose cannon. I never know what's going to happen. I told you what's going to happen. I'm going to win with or without your help. You've given me a lot to think about. Not much to think about. The choice is simple. Father's the past, I'm the future. I'm not making any decisions just yet. Well, when you come around to it, you know where to find me. Hey, we need to talk about Chandler Enterprises. Are you ready to improve our position? Yeah, there's gonna be a war. 